we started in our garages, as a lot of homebrewers do. The fascinating world of cleaning is about 90% of brewing. Mostly custodial duties that make it happen. So there's a lot of great breweries in town already uh, that have um, really good pails, porters, IPAs. You know, people are doing those styles well. So we wanted to make sure we were bringing something new to the table, that, you know, not just adding to the noise. The product is amazing. The beer is great. It smells so good. We work really, really hard to bring in as many like kind of local ingredients as we can. You know, Texas grapefruits. The tamarind fruit, uh, when we put that into the boil, we extract these acids out of it, which give it a really like tart, almost sour like finish. We have one beer that's just made with all Texas ingredients, uh, no hops and, and no barley in that one. You know, even though we just opened, those are kind of the ideas we have. We want to keep doing things like that, making sure we're super involved with the, you know, our community, the growing community. We're not operating in a bubble. So we're a worker cooperative, so we're worker owned and governed. Instead of the authority being derived from like a group of investors that we don't, don't really see, the authority is derived from the people who work here. We want those individuals to be able to speak to each other because they both have the same effect on the beer uh, at the end of the day. Every, everyone at every step in the process has the ability to make it great or make it fail. Um, I mean, everybody out, on, out there can do their job perfectly. The beer can make it all the way here, and then I can screw it up just pouring it and then ruin the entire thing. And so we wanted to make sure that everyone who's involved in the entire process has the ability to have like a real stake in, in the beer itself. This is our, our uh, Super Nut Stout. So I love this beer uh, because we, we use a very like, very fancy uh, English malt profile. With the wheat beer, you know, we attenuate it so it dries out and you combine that tartness and the flavor, you get a really like tart, like crisp and refreshing uh, finish on the beer, which we think is delicious. You know, everything we're doing, we, we don't want to tread old ground. So the end result is a very, very delicious. <laughs> this one we went a little overboard on. <laughs>